I would love to know how each of the cover artists came up with the plan and what they wanted to put on the cover. So for mine, I started looking at, for the composition, I was just looking at like classic movie posters. I wanted to break out a little bit, sort of fall into that con element where it's sort of multi-media, sort of have a movie poster feel to it. And I was, I was racking my brain for a couple of days because, you know, I, I go to cons often. This is part of my job. So I should definitely, I, I felt like I had a responsibility to bring some kind of Comic-Con flavor to this. Uh, and I was trying to think of like, you know, is it something about the tables or the, the setups or whatever? And I finally realized I should just use con badges and lanyards in it because that's something anyone who's been to a show doesn't matter if you're a vendor or the, you know the artist or just a guest everyone you know everyone has one of these at some point um, which added the extra cool element that I was actually the, that I was you know I got permission from the team to use the art already made for the badges so both versions of the badge appear as this sort of framing motif uh, in the cover and that's kind of the whole story on that one and Clara's is the only one that Started traditional, which, which makes it oh cool. Yeah, it's on. This isn't a screen, is what that means. <laughs> oh, thank you.